Near the town of Janesville, bees are all the buzz, and for good reason. WCCO's John Lorison shows us why this particular bee colony is on the National Register of Historic Places as we go finding Minnesota. Did we ever figure out how many times you've been stung in your life? No. <laughs> no idea. Tip of my tongue, that's a bad one. Your nose is really bad. <laughs> Larry Hoffman has done the research on bee stings, but not by choice. He grew up on this farm in Wasika County, where pigs once ruled before bees took over. It's very comforting to have them here and to hear them in the air. You know, we love that. It all began in 1903 when Larry's grandfather, Emil Hoffman, happened upon a swarm of bees. He became intrigued when they flew into a makeshift container and settled there. Then launched his career. Within just a few years, the uh, bees were making more money than the pigs, so he quit the pigs and went into bees full time. Smart move. It's believed Amel was the state's largest honey producer in the 1920s. At his peak, he had a thousand colonies, along with a wax house and a honey house. After Amel's death, his son Charles took over, and Larry followed. It was a way of life, and they wore it well. The combination of honey and wax and all of it, it was lovely. But as the century wore on, the operation slowed. By the mid-80s, the honeybees were gone, though not forgotten. As that building unfolds, you realize, that, what? What is this? And I looked at Larry and I said, this has to be saved. During a tour of the Hoffman Farm, Joan Mooney of the Wasika County Historical Society realized there was history through honey. So with Larry's blessing, she got the apiary put on the National Register of Historic Places, the only one in the country with that distinction that she helped secure funding for new roofs and windows for the houses. So he did some repairs with, with reclaimed barn wood. The goal is to turn the farm into an education center with a pretty sweet story. It is amazing that it happened the way it did and sustained them as long as it did. And the bees are back and as busy as ever, but with a new purpose. The honey they make isn't nearly as important as the lessons they'll teach. Well, we all know bees are in trouble. I mean, it's not, it's not just a little problem, it's a big problem. So education, that's the whole focus of this place is education. In Janesville, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. After more renovations this year, the apiary plans to open to the public by next summer. If you'd like more information on Hoffman Apiary and the status of bees in Minnesota, just head to WCCO.com links.